Hey, what's going on guys? Today, in this video, we're gonna be loading the 224 Valkyrie. Real quick, before we get started, I just wanna give a shout out to the Reloaders Network. Um, be sure to check out the website. It's a place for a bunch of information for all the reloading that goes on. Cast lead bullets, pistols, rifles, precision shooters. It's kind of more my neck of the woods. But uh, be sure to check that out, please. Now, let's get into loading 224 Valkyrie. So pretty much this is part three of the series I'm doing on the 224 Valkyrie. In the first series, or in the first video, I talk about using H4350. At this point, Hodgden has come out with the data for H4350. It's available online on their reloading center, so take a look at that if that's something you're interested in, and it's definitely something I'm gonna be trying out. So today, the components we're going to be using, Federal AR small rifle match primers. I've got the Hornady 88 grain ELD bullets, and uh, these are long, sleek, good looking bullets. That's good, good for long range shooting. Um, I'm going to load up three five shot groups for each powder. So I'm gonna do three different charges of Reloader 17 and three different charges of H4350. Federal once fired brass, the pocket, the primer pockets on this brass is already loose. It was factory ammunition, and uh, after one firing, it's not doing that awesome. I have loaded up some 53 grain VMAX, and uh, the primer pockets didn't feel all that great. So we'll see how it goes this time around. Let's prime up the brass. We'll do that real quick, and then I'll show you my process of throwing charges, and then seating bullets, and we'll talk about overall lengths. All right, we've got our shell holder in here. We've got our little priming arm. The shell holder is the same as the 6.8 SPC, if you didn't know. So that's what you'll need to order if you're going to prime off of something like this for a, a hand primer. Speaking of, I need to upgrade my priming system. Uh, what hand primer would you guys suggest? Perhaps the Frankfurt Arsenal, or even just the Lee, or even the, uh, I think Lee has like a bench priming system which is essentially a hand primer that mounts permanently to a bench or a block of wood. I wouldn't mind going that route as well. So let me know what you guys think, if you have either of those, um, any of those three, just what you think of them and would you buy it again? All right, so here's how I throw powder. We're just gonna fill it up with Reloader 17. You got your little hopper here. And then this little screw on the side, if you screw it in, it decreases the amount of volume that the powder has to fall into. So essentially it's just a little cylinder in here. You flip it up, powder flows into this little cylinder, flip it down, it comes out of here. Simple as that. So you screw this in and out, it'll give you more or less powder. So yeah, it should be pretty close to uh, like 24 grains or so, depending on the different powders you use, it's going to change. Um, the last thing I loaded was 224 Valkyrie. I was using uh, some H4895. Um, but we're gonna bump up to Reloader 17. We'll discuss charges here in a second. But I just wanted to show you guys just what I use to throw my charges. And then uh, I weigh every individual uh, load as well. So when I'm using my hopper, I fill it up a good 80%. I leave me a little bit of wiggle room that way. Just when I'm clicking it around, it doesn't overflow or anything like that. But uh, I never leave it in the hopper because I've heard that the sun is bad for it as well as I'm starting to get quite a few powders now and I definitely don't want to get them confused and end up putting the wrong powder in something because that would end badly. All right guys, so I've got the reloading data that I have available to me written down. Um, Reloader 17 comes from the Sierra data that I have. Uh, ironically, um, Alliance site does not have Reloader 17 listed for the 90 grain bullet. So Sierra does, I trust them. It's saying 23 grains up to 27 grains. Now, don't copy this data because I wrote it down, and if I wrote one number wrong, then I could blow your rifle up. So look for yourself. But I just want to give you an idea for how I do this. Then Hodgden Online has uh, their reloading data available, and they have H4350, and that goes from 24.4 up to 26.9. So why don't we start from the tops, and then we'll back it down a half grain increment across the three different groups. So I'll have 27, 26.5, and 26 we'll do that for Reloader 17 and H4350. It'll be easier not to get my numbers messed up. All right guys, so this is my first time reloading a long range bullet for the Valkyrie. So this is the 88 grain ELD. Um, I had to hurry and seat one and figure out my overall length. So I'm gonna go with the suggested 2.260, which is the typical uh, maximum magazine length for an AR-15. 
Uh, I know that the mag pulls measure right at 2.260. I have a steel mag that gives me a few thousandths extra, so they'll just have a little bit more room for the moment. And then we're, we're gonna see how they jump. Um, so it's 2.260 from the base all the way to the tip of the bullet. Now I have a tool that measures off of the uh, shoulder of the bullet. So check this out as it slips up into this measuring tool. It measures down off of the shoulder because not all the polymer tips are perfectly the same. Um, and then not all hollow points are perfectly the same. A lot of hollow points, the hole is actually like off to one side and you get a sharp side that sits up taller. And it'll measure through measurements a few thousandths. So if you have a hollow point and you're getting weird readings on overall length, try one of these. It's a Hornady bullet comparator. And uh, you can also do some other cool measurements on bullets themselves. But 2.260 is what I set this at. Um, I measured last night the bullet to the lands from the base to the ogive and where the bullet is meeting the lands in my rifle. So that is 1.775 for this rifle with this bullet. That's my Uinta Precision UPR 15 bolt action AR-15 upper. Now it's 1.775 to the lands and set to magazine length it's 1.706 or 707. So I've got almost 70 thousandths of jump with these bullets at magazine length to where they come in contact with the lands. That's quite a bit of jump however uh, all the other ELDs I've shot from Hornady really don't seem to mind jump. Like in my Creedmoor I load those to magazine length for an AR-10 and uh, they feed just fine, and then they jump just fine, and I've shot ragged holes with them. So we're going to see how the 88s do. Um, obviously, if they're not a fan of jumping 70 thousandths, then we can stretch them way out and get up close to the lands and uh, see how that does. So that's what we're going to start out with on this test. They're all going to be 2.260. If they don't shoot well, then that's definitely one of the first things I'm going to mess with is the overall length. I'll, throw you, I'll show you how I throw a couple charges. Zero out my scale with a pan on it. 26 grains right on the nose. Take my little funnel over here. Then I'm just going to dump it in the brass. Now case fill on this is interesting. Um, it didn't look too bad. It's down below the neck pretty well. Um, Reloader 17 is pretty bulky for a small case like this. So it's probably down, just somewhere in the shoulder. Um, but when I seated the bullet on the first one, I seated it very slowly to creep up on that length. And uh, this is a compressed charge at this point, and this is my lowest charge. Now, I don't think with a grain and a half it's going to be like overflowing out the neck or anything, but um, it's, definitely, it's definitely a full case with Reloader 17 and the 224 Valkyrie. All right, guys, so you've heard Johnny's Reloading Bench mention a uh, Rice crispy sound when seating a bullet on a compressed charge. Let's... Try and capture that sound. I've got my microphone hooked up right on the press itself right back here. So let's see the bullet and let's see if the press noise doesn't disturb the audio of the bullet crunching the powder. So here we go. I'll be quiet for a second. Kind of like a gritty sand sound. That's the sound of the powder getting compressed. Well, Alright guys, here are the finished product. I've got H4350 over here and I've got Reloader 17 over here. You might notice that all of a sudden my Reloader 17 has a big duct tape band-aid on it and uh, I made a critical error where I left two powders on the bench and I took my powder hopper that had H4350 in it and I set them in the tops of my bottles to let it empty and I had just opened it when I realized I was putting H4350 in Reloader 17. So I hurry and closed it I ended up cutting off the entire top of the bottle and scooping out an extra, a bunch of Reloader 17 that I really didn't want to throw away. And uh, I have to throw away like a quarter of my Reloader 17 because I got a little bit of H4350 in there and I didn't want to blow up a gun. There's no reason to mix powders because even if it shoots well, once the powder's gone, it's not going to do you any good. It's not repeatable at all. So don't put two powders on your bench at the same time. Uh, that is a golden rule. Uh, please follow it because there's a good chance you will ruin it just like I did. Anyway, uh, these are all loaded up. These are ready to go to the range. I'm excited to take them out. Uh, I'm curious to see how they shoot. I'm really curious how the H4350 is going to do. I don't really have high hopes for Reloader 17. Um, to something I want to mention here, these are both slow powders for the Valkyrie. However, I've got a slightly longer barrel 
Um, I've got a 22 inch one to seven twist, and we're gonna see if the one to seven we're gonna see if the one to seven will stay to stabilize the 88 grain ELD. I'm sure it will. Um, I've shot the 90 grain factory ammo. I've got a few to group really well and a few to not group so well. So we'll find out at the range. We'll catch you guys in the next video. I appreciate you watching. Please check out the Reloaders Network. Um, great bunch of guys over there. So stop by the website. Link in description.